Hello Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel, T to the Y to the M to the A R A. Alright, so today we want to see what's going on in your energy, spirit, please give me a message for the Sagittarius Collective. Remember this is a general reading, if you want a personal reading, please book at the link in the description box below. Okay, let's see what's going on in the Sagittarius energy, what would you like Sagittarius to know? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or, or Venus signs. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have the dark mode energy as well as the wolf. We just had the wolf. Okay, with the dark mode energy, this says spend time in contemplation and meditation in order to seek greater understanding of yourself and those around you. So before you're quick to react, make sure you are just contemplating and meditating and you're going to seek the knowledge that you need in order to understand yourself and just people around you in general. Then you're going to see like, oh... This is why this person responded this way. Oh, this person needs to heal a little, little bit more. Or this is why I reacted this way. Oh, that came from some unhealed trauma or some baggage. from. Like It just gives you more understanding about sitting and meditating. I feel like your spirit guides or ancestors or whoever, your intuition is going to talk to you and it's going to give you the knowledge that you see. And with the wolf moon totem coming out here, it says beware of letting your wilder instincts spin out of control. Sometimes we naturally have instincts of things we want to do. Let's say if your natural instinct is to be protective. Your natural instinct is to hurry up and run when certain situations happen. Your natural instinct is to speak up when you feel some type of way about something. Spirit is saying, beware of letting your instincts run out of control, spin out of control. Sometimes we need to be slow to speak or slow to anger. Or maybe we need to slow down instead of running. Or maybe we need to sit down and pause for a second instead of always need to go somewhere and do something. Sometimes we have to slow it down. We got to remember to breathe for a minute, take a breather, get some rest, drink some water, and just slow down for a second. That's what's coming out. Okay, Spirit, what's the situation for my Sagittarius? What's the situ current situation for Sag? Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. says you have some money or some blessings coming to you like page of pentacles let me know pages is a mess is a message coming to you you have a message coming to you or how you want to earn some new money or some finances or some blessings or abundance coming in this could be a new house new car new place new job new something something very tangible something you can text it's coming to you fast as well as the knight of pentacles knight of pentacles lets me know what's coming in now it's coming now. But you have a decision to make. I feel like you don't even see what's going on behind the scenes because our eyes are closed. You don't even see that this is coming in, but you have a decision to make. This decision, let me see what's on the other side of this decision. Because on this side, we have we have God, the creator, the universe blessing you. What's on the other side of making a decision? Decision between what, spirit? Six of swords and the reverse. Okay. I feel like there, there are some blessings coming into you where there's money or finances or support or abundance or prosperity coming into you and you don't see it because you're confused and trying to balance between walking towards this receiving this money or being tricked out of some being tricked out of something mentally. I feel like your mind is getting in the way and you don't see it. Give me more on this thing. What is it that Sagittarius is not seeing? Two decisions between what? Whatever this is, is hidden. Whatever this is, is hidden from you. You don't even see it. Between what else? Passion. Success. Okay. Okay, Sage. I feel like your current situation, you're battling, you're battling with your mind. 
you're battling between when something is a blessing versus when somebody's playing tricks on you or trying to get over on you when it comes to something i feel like you could have either two different messages coming out here either you could have done some rituals or some type of magic or something to manifest money coming in for you or you could have done some hard work behind the scenes whatever this is it's like I feel like this is for my spiritual people. If you're not not the spiritual type of people, this might not be your reading. Because you did something, I feel like you manifested some money coming in. You tried to manifest money coming in. Whether you did some rituals, candle magic or something with the occult, you did something. And this money is coming in. And on the other side of that, you're going to have a lot of success and achievement. You're going to attain this. This goal is going to come in. And I feel like you don't see that it's coming in because you're still stuck in your head. Uh, sometimes you struggle between because it's happening behind the scenes it's happening on another plane you don't see this sometimes you struggle with wondering if somebody's still going to trick you or get over on you but you're getting released from this you're no longer battling with this anymore feeling like somebody's trying to trick you or not but your mind still gets in the way of this blessing coming in I feel like also you could be distracted by your loved one. If you're in a relationship, sometimes you're distracted from your finances or from your money because you're focused on this relationship. Let's say if you're supposed to be at work, focusing on bringing in, focus, focusing on growing your business or growing your career or doing something to bring in more money for yourself. Sometimes you can be spending more time with your loved one instead of working. And this is where you're distracted and you're trying to balance between focusing on growing your business or focus on growing your career versus and focusing on your goals versus spending time with your loved ones. Sometimes you spend time with your person that you're dating or in a relationship with, married to or in a relationship with. You're spending so much time with them that you're getting distracted from the goal. And this is taking you off path. Your success. So you need to make a decision between that. Like, make sure you bring some balance into it. Because Spirit is saying, like, sometimes you feel like you want to put money into working on your career or your goals or your finances. And other times you want to put time into your relationship. This is what you don't realize is coming towards you. It's coming towards you. You could be saying the number 333-11777. Somebody's name could start with a Z, first, middle, or last name. Zoe. Uh, Zoe Zarek. I just heard Zarek. Something with a Z is significant here. I, I just heard Zesty Burrito. I don't know what that had to do with anything. <laughs> Maybe somebody just ate Taco Bell or loved Taco Bell. But Z is out here. Your favorite pattern, or maybe you got on you have something zebra print on or a zebra print in your car or in your house or something. Or that's your favorite animal. Give me more on this situation. Give me a second. I'm thinking. It seemed like you're your stability and your your stability and your finances and stuff is continuing to grow and it's coming in rapidly. But when it comes to your mental, you're like you're getting your mental back in check. You're no longer looking at life the way that you used to. I feel like you used to be afraid. Of going after what you want. Maybe there was this energy here where you feel like you wasn't deserving of it. Or there was some uh, trauma still attached to you. Or maybe some baggage still attached to you. Feeling like, like you wasn't deserving of something. But now you're learning to let that go. You're letting go of anything that is like cold towards you. Or just not good or beneficial or serving your highest good. And you're picking up everything that's good for you. I feel like you... I see somebody listening to meditation music or listening to meditation uh, YouTube videos. I feel like you're feeding your mind with all the good meditation, uh, good motivational information. And this is helping you grow towards success. 
it's like it's an uphill battle and you're continuing to climb. You're so close, but stay focused, stay on track because something is going on. Spirit is working behind the scenes and you don't see it. It's all about releasing this old thought process or this old way of thinking. And this is what you're battling with. Okay, what is serving Sagittarius? What's serving them? When you was a child, you could have a parent that's an air sign, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like either when you was a child, you felt like your life wasn't very grounded or structured with foundation coming out in reverse. You felt like it wasn't very grounded or structured. But over time, with serving you, you learn to forgive. You learn to forgive people, forgive your parents for what happened uh, or whatever happened when you was a child. And now you realize that as an adult, you have a lot more choices to make in life. You don't have to be what you experienced when you was a child or a kid. Also, I'm getting this energy here where you could be a parent yourself. And you want your parents, your child could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You want your child to experience a different childhood than what you experienced when you was younger. I feel like if something happens between your children, you are the type of parent to apologize if something happens. Or if you do something wrong, because you don't want your child to grow up with an unstable foundation. You don't want your child to grow up in an environment that's just very toxic. You realize that now you're taking an alternative approach to life. You see things through different lens. So you're taking a different approach to life and making sure that, hey, because I went different for my life and I went different for my children, I'm going to do better. What is not serving Sagittarius? What's not serving Sag? not serving you is the fact that there are times where you're manifesting what you want coming in whatever manifestation process you choose to use there are times you're manifesting things come you manifest for things to come in but now i feel like you repeat your manifestations because you feel like you don't see your blessings because blessings in reverse equals to me no blessings so i feel like you don't see your blessings or how favored you are or how gifted you are or how much god has gave you grace and that is not serving you the fact that you don't realize it. You keep manifesting. And I feel I see somebody repeating manifestation. I feel like somebody's repeating manifestation activities or they keep doing it and wishing or praying for something. And spirit keeps giving you the blessing, but you don't see it. And that is not serving you. It's like, why would we continue blessing you or giving you something? You don't see what we have done so far. Your name could start with an M. First, middle, or last name. Or maybe... Somebody in your family was born in the month of May or March, or that could be significant here, your anniversary or something. Number 11 could be important to you. Maybe you was born in November, or that could be your power number. What else is not serving Sag? Yes, with the crown chakra coming out, Spirit is telling you trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Believe that if you want something and you... You want something to come into your reality, believe that it's taken care of. The fact that you don't believe that they have blessed you or gift you is what's not serving you at this moment. What obstacles are standing in Sagittarius way? That obstacles that stand in your way is the fact that you love somebody, but y'all don't really have trust. Or you could have love for people, but you don't really trust people. In order for you to be in 
community with other people and to get out there and celebrate and enjoy life, you need to speak to other people. You should be celebrating life. You should be celebrating in general. Like you have a love for life. You have a love for people, but you don't really trust people. You don't really trust that everything will work out in your favor. You don't really trust that things will work out for you. But in order to be celebrated, to be in a community or atmosphere of other people, you have to trust. Trust the universe. Trust the world. outcome of this reading what can says take away from this you're going to have a realization coming out that you're going to have a lot of prosperity in your life you're going to have a lot of prosperity you're going to reach financial freedom you're going to have a lot of riches. People are attracted to you. You have magnetism on your life. You have wealth on your life. And wealth does not always mean money or you have all the zeros in your bank account. Wealth could be in the sense of like love and community, friendships, like having all your needs melt, um, met. That could be wealth. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with some zeros in the bank account, but you can also have all these things as well. You have prosperity over your life, and that's what you're realizing, that you have prosperity over your life. And realizing that, hey, sometimes, sometimes you won't receive justice for certain situations that happen in your life. There will be no justice. Sometimes there will be no retribution for certain situations that happen. But realize that, hey, out of life, just enjoy the riches and the prosperity and the abundance and the simple things that come out of it. This is what you're going to be realizing. This is what you're going to be incurring. 11, 11 could be important here because we have 11 coming out again, as well as 99 or 555. Five, five. Look up that angel number. Give me more on this outcome spirit. Ace of Swords. Judgment. Five of Cups in the reverse. See, because you have released regret, you're released regret, you're no longer holding on to what was. And you answer your calling of what spirit has called you to do. You want to have an ace of swords. Your mindset has shifted and changed. You're having new beginnings, new ideas. You're acting out on your ideas. You're acting out on your new plans. You realize that, hey, uh, it is not my duty or responsibility to make sure that somebody receives their karma. I'm just going to let let go of what happened in the past. I'm going to just focus on answering my calling, serving God, serving the creator. If they call me to do something, I'm going to serve them. I am no longer in regret. And because of this, this is why you're going to have this prosperity and blessings over your life. And you're realizing this. This is what's coming out. This is what's being uncovered at this moment. So, Spirit, what life lessons I said just here is here to learn at this moment. What life lessons are said here to learn? You're learning to surrender. And it says peacefully release control and allow life to unfold naturally. That's what we just said on your outcome. You're learning to surrender to life in general and let it unfold naturally. You're also putting your time and energy into more close-knit relationships, close and personal relationships. People that you can feel emotionally and physically close to, where y'all can experience togetherness. You're also realizing that, hey, if I'm going to put my energy into anything, I'm going to be passionate about what I put my energy into. Sometimes we deplete ourselves so much throughout the day because we're putting our energy into any and everything. You get some of my attention. You get some of my attention. You get some of my love. When really put it into somebody, you put it into relationships that are close and personal. Everyone, time is the most precious thing that we have. Time is the most precious thing that we have. So you're focusing on putting your time and energy into what you're passionate about. Whatever career that is, whatever family member, whatever hobby, whatever yourself, you're focusing on putting that time and energy into something that you're passionate about. And also you have the life lesson now of experiencing a breakup. And a breakup could be breaking up and terminating a relationship or association. There's a sense of loss, but also an opportunity for a new beginning. You realize like breakups 
It's a chance for new opportunities and new beginnings. It is not the end. It's not the end of your life. It's not the end that if you experience a breakup, it's because you're walking into new beginnings and new blessings. And then lastly, you have the energy or the life lesson of reconciliation. And this says re restoration of a friendly relation or resolution of conflict, settlement, harmony, and reunion. So you're walking into this energy of having harmony and settlement and reunion. You could be reconciling with an old friend or you can just be realizing that, hey, I'm fine with having resolution of this relationship, but I would no longer have conflict in my life. I'm no longer uh, involving myself into conflict. So you could be walking to this energy or reconciling with an old friend or just letting it be. Because you want harmony in your life. You want things to be settled. And that's why Spirit said, beware of letting your wilder instincts spin out of control. Take time to sit, meditate, and think for a second. And also... Spirit says, spend time in contemplation and meditation in order to seek greater understanding of yourself and those around you. And once you start to understand those around you, you'll wonder, you'll understand why people act the way that they are or why they do what they do, why you do what you do, why you act the way that you act. And this will allow you to break up with those that does not need to be in your life and reconcile with those who maybe who do. And maybe you'll get them a little bit of clemency and understanding and a little bit of mercy because now you understand why they did what they did and it was maybe out of hurt or pain or trauma, but it's not the end. And it does not have to be the final chapter. And some people, it's time for a termination. And when you end that relationship and end that association, that's when you have an opportunity for new beginnings because sometimes cutting somebody out just opens the door for new relationships to come in. All right, that's all I have for you. If anything resonated, please leave a message down below. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you want a personal reading, please check out bandtomorrow.com. Take care.